15 past the hour, Trump associate Roger Stone due back in court in Washington, D.C. for a second time today in just hours. He's pleaded not guilty to charges of justice, lying to Congress, and witness tampering. Spectrum News 13's Washington Bureau reporter Samantha Joe Roth is at the federal courthouse in D.C. this afternoon. Samantha Joe, what's the latest? Eric, we've been seeing a lot of Roger Stone over the last week since his arrest in Florida. He's really been making the media rounds, and that all could change today. Now, Roger Stone will appear before Judge Amy Berman Jackson, who has presided over several of the special counsel cases. The big question is, will she issue a gag order today to prevent Roger Stone from speaking out about the case? Meanwhile, congressional Republicans are really taking issue with the way that Roger Stone was arrested in Florida last week. I don't think the special counsel has been fairly treating too much of anybody, and I think that that's a consequence of the bias assembled on the special counsel's team. When I read the indictment of Roger Stone, I was surprised at the lack of allocation regarding any direct collusion. Now, we did learn a little bit more about what exactly the special counsel obtained in their search warrants of Roger Stone's apartments, homes, and offices uh, from some court filings. They have years worth of hard drives, financial statements, as well as some bank records. And now this investigation really is moving forward through the courts. Judge Amy Berman Jackson now setting the stage for how this will proceed. Reporting live in Washington, Samantha Jaroth, Spectrum. News 13. Doors that